Hello and welcome to my collection update for July. I bought quite a few bits last month so let's take a look. At the very start of the month I picked up the Sarah Jane Adventures Series 1-5 to box set which I've been meaning to get for a while but never bought because it was always too expensive. I found this in CEX for about £20 which I thought was quite good. I really love the packaging on this, it's got the main cast on one side and then all the monsters on the other. Then I also found Husbands of River Song, which I realised I didn't actually own, uh, and it was £6, so I picked that up. <laughs> then I went to a car boot sale, and the only thing that I found that was Doctor Who related was this DVD board game, which I got for £3. Then I picked up the Cold War Time Zone playset, which is awful, but it was only £2.50, so I think that's justified. It's basically just cardboard. Yeah, it comes with the um, the Skaldak creature, but it looks nothing like Skaldak. Then I picked up a mug, which is from Smile, and it's a really nice mug, but it arrived broken. Um, there's this massive chip in it, so I contacted the um, GB posters where I got it from, and they very kindly sent me a replacement. So it's just got the Twelfth Doctor and Bill taking a photograph on it, and then a little emoji bot in the corner. Um, so yeah, really nice mug, and now I have two. Then I obviously picked up another tin, because you cannot have enough Dot two tins, apparently. Um, this one's just got the TARDIS on it, and then Davros on the side. And it did originally come with a padlock, but as soon as I got it, I lost it. So, it's still a nice tin though. Then in a charity shop, I found this Sycorax figure for £3.50. He was in a box that usually has loads of Laszlo's in it, um, but this time I found a lot of Sycorax, so I picked him up. Then after I did my VHS collection, I went on eBay to see if there were any VHS sets I didn't have, and I did find a couple, so obviously I bought them. Um, this is the Reign of Terror set, which comes with the Faceless Ones and the Web of Fear, um, surviving episodes, and if you open it up, it also comes with a 40th anniversary pin. And here's the Reign of Terror VHS, and then the Faceless Ones and the Web of Fear. Then I found the Ice Warriors collection, which contains two videos, a book and a CD. And this was originally £25, but I got it for a couple of quid. Um, it comes with the CD, the Ice Warriors VHS, and then the Missing Gears. Then it also comes with this Ice Warriors book, which is a little book all about Ice Warriors and it has some uh, sort of newspaper -y type things. <laughs> that was a really bad description, but I'm sure you get the gist. Then I found Martha in the Mirror, which I have read before but I don't actually have a copy of, so I picked that up. There's the Breb. My brother gave me this Myths and Legends book, which is awesome. Uh, it's one of the new ones, or slightly new ones, and just look at the images. Oh. <laughs> then I found this intergalactic survival guide, which comes with like postcards and other various cardboard things. Um, it's clearly a book for younger fans, but it had Matt Smith's face on, so I bought it. Um, yeah, it just has bits about various locations seen in Dot Who. Um, I got this off eBay, and the person said it was new, but it has actually been used. Um, so all the puzzles are sort of half filled in. So here's some anagrams. Feel free to solve them. Uh, yeah, so it's actually quite a nice book. I would have liked this when I was younger. I don't know who Paul is, but now I will always remember his birthday. Uh, then I found this classic who, the Harper Classics book, which is all about the case of Androzani and the revelation of the Daleks. There's the inside front cover if you wanted to give that a read. It basically just says that they are two of the most critically acclaimed stories. And it has this lovely picture of the Fifth Doctor in. This is a bit sad so don't judge me but I basically bought every newspaper I saw in the shop that had Jodie Whittaker's face on when she was announced as the 13th Doctor. It seemed like a good idea at the time so I picked up the Guardian the Daily Express, the Daily Mail, 
the sun and the daily mirror and the star and that's all the Doctor Who things I got last month so thank you for watching I hope you enjoyed this video